number three. Where's where, number three? Is that that's number five actually? Well, there's a facility of power. Uh, don't know. What was. Oh, that's number three. All right, well, let's try pressing the buttons. These buttons, they're really not obscure at all. They really want you to see it. Holy shit. Okay, so I'm just going to press number four. Right over here. Okay, so let's see. I mean, so far, actually, it seems like they're kind of following the story of, like, the original mod, but, you know. It's a little bit different, obviously, but eh, kind of it's like almost the same thing in a sense. Now, what does that do? I press all the buttons, right? There can't be any more buttons, I think. I mean, what other? Where are the other buttons? I suppose like, if there's another one, at least that maybe think there maybe be six to make it even a number, maybe. But uh, I don't think so. Uncertainty! Okay, well, let's just wait. Let's well, just giant red button. Uh, there's so many buttons. They don't even know what they're for. And uh, you know that they're probably something that you. There's, there's like an Easter egg maybe somewhere that I don't know about. I don't know. Who knows? I don't know what they fucking put. My controls idle awaiting input. Ah, uh, system power. You can see that. Okay, so <laughs> off and on. Pretty, uh, pretty, pretty simple. He knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. All right. Oh. Okay. So. Uh, What just... What just happened? Okay, so I'm guessing that was the... Maybe the end? Madness and a rising oh. chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Yes. He had won. He had defeated... Oh god, that's really weird. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? Yeah, it's really... How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? It's really weird. But as sunlight streamed into the chamber... Oh, look at the birds! None of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even oh. power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal oh. had not been to understand, but to let go. Ah, oh, look at no that! It's so beautiful. There's a trees and there's a hill. Where the fuck is this even located? How am I gonna give it? Lives, it will be his, and that was all he needed to know. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. How am I even getting home? Stanley stepped. Through the open door. Where is my home? How was I? How did I even get home? If I Stanley felt the cold oh, okay. breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. Where did I even sleep? This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen, and Stanley was happy. Ah, oh, that's good. Stanley was very happy. I could see. I can see that, uh... Oh. Okay, so I beat the game. Alright, now I suppose we'll go... Let's try it again. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Per perhaps. Per perhaps. Like... Okay, okay. Stanley came to a set of two open doors. Okay, so now I'm going to try to go on the right. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Everything he says, I'm just going to not follow it along. First, just to admire it. Okay, so let's see where we're going now. Ah, yes, truly a room worth. Oh, cool drinks. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. 
Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Ah, just drink it all in. Look at the, look at the blue carpet. It's kind of stained. Look at the look at the walls. Look at the clipboard. Yes, really, really worth it being here in the room. <laughs> the room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really <laughs> worth it. It's very worth it. All right, well, let's see. What does it say? Fuel. Okay. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. But there's an open door over here. Why would I want to go to that one? Wait. Why would I want to go to that one? Just fuck that. What Stanley is this? Was so bad at following the road, <laughs> it's incredible he wasn't fine yet. I mean, I'm pretty good at my job. I mean, I can at least admit. Like, I could, I could push buttons. I hit the space war maybe like a million times. That's like the Guinness Book of World Records for the most space bar hits in one year. That's probably not true. That's definitely not true. Foot here. I'm not your enemy, really. I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. I could this fall off. You've been neglecting Stanley, someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. What? For for who? For For Lady Liberty? This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put what? your work aside. I had a lover? Her back into your life. She's been waiting. So uh, are you maybe blackmailing me? Is <laughs> that doesn't seem too safe. Oh, That's what the fuck? Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. <laughs> what the Shout fuck? <laughs> what is this interrogation room? Your faith in another, then pick up the phone. Oh, okay. Uh, Jesus, is that? Uh... What? I'm sorry to keep you waiting. What the fuck? I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. What? Alright. Okay, there we go. Alright now, I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. Ah. Gotcha. What a dick. Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? Oh. <laughs> what a dick. I'm to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. I don't want to see. No, fuck you. Sorry. Oh. In my story now. Whoa, this is getting a little bit uh, demanding and kind of creepy and weird. And it's very evil. You're a very evil narrator. I don't appreciate it. Oh. Uh. This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. <laughs> uh. Stanley is quite oh, a boring okay. fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that okay. he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Look at him there, pushing buttons. Oh, okay. Exactly uh, to the do. death. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's. I don't really like this. Work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. I don't like this. But in his mind, ah, in his mind, he can go on fantastic adventures. I don't like this. Uh, fuck you, you narrator. Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown, fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful, and each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. Okay. And so he began to fantasize about his own job. First, he imagined that one uh, day while at work, he stepped up... Where is this even going? All of his this guy's creeping me out. I don't like mannequins. Everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited... It's peering into my soul. So, he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. 
It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. Too scared to look away from this mannequin. As he wandered oh. through this fantasy Ew. world, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Down one path lay an enormous round room. Uh, it's a kind of dirty floor there. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. And uh, he called it the Stanley Parable. A what? It was such a wonderful fantasy. And so in his what is this even? Why is the couch there? Again, and then again, and again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end. That he might I wish this would kind of end, really. Surely there's an answer down some new path. Mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. But there is oh, no okay, then boy, okay, at least the mannequin's gone. In reality, all he's doing <sighs> is pushing the that makes me feel a lot better. Always has. Nothing has changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets. The more he forgets which life is the real one. And I'm trying to tell him this. Uh, okay. In this world, he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. You see? Can he just not hear me? <laughs> tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself. How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? I suppose I can't. Okay. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose. So I suppose they're gonna die. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time he'll see. Maybe this time. And I tried again. What? And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again. Uh. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried. Uh. Okay, so I guess I, I guess I, I, I died. <laughs> so the narrator killed me. All of his co-workers were gone. I what suppose I'll mean? try again and Stanley do some other stuff. The meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. There's so many endings to this game. I don't even know where to start. Like, uh, stop that! I know where that leads. Why can't you just give me the door I want? I just want to be there. I don't want to deal with this shit. I don't want to have to go there. Why am I having to go? What is this? What? What is? When Stanley came to a set of two open what? doors, he entered the door on his left. So should I? Okay, here's what I'll do. I'll try. I'll try doing this way thing again. And I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go through the escape route and see where that leads me. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling away yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I get it. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping coming to a staircase. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Never mind. I suppose. Oh, this is looking a little bit. Uh, hmm. Would malicious be a word that I would use? I mean, I said I would do the, the escape thing, but I don't know, this game kind of seems tempting right now. Yeah, I'll do it, whatever. It's, there's a car. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And yeah, I could, be, I could be boss, fired. Why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. Exactly. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe he thought to himself, maybe I. What the fuck? Crazy. All uh, of the workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason this, at all. Uh, None of it made any logical sense. <laughs> this kind and of. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet what? when he looked oh. down? Why did doors close automatically yeah, this is, uh... him wherever he 
And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? Yes, they were. No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. This is all a dream. Uh. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt. <laughs> he found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, oh. he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above what the f ground. What the fuck? I'm floating! Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field. And it too appeared. It was so much fun. What? And Stanley <laughs> what? he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? Entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating? Mr. Nair, why are you there? Why are you now depicting world? Describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly God strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts. He thought. What was that? And while he thought it all very odd and wondered if this voice spoke to all people, <laughs> is it something going to happen? The was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself? This is like the old... Believing that <laughs> Jesus Christ. He doesn't have to take responsibility for himself. Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Oh, there's some coffee. I mean, no, I've walked past you so many times, I didn't even notice it. Stanley. God damn. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical style? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of his own bag. Sorry. Surely, surely, if he could just, he I... would prove it. Am I gonna die? That he was in control. That this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself uh, to wake up. No. He felt no. The cool weight of the blanket on his skin. Uh, the press of the mattress on his back. Okay. The fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, uh, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. <laughs> pushing Let buttons is the best job ever buttons. in the world. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment. And, and my, my wife. And, and my, my job. job. All, all I, I want is my life, life exactly, exactly the way, the way it's, it's always been. been. My life is normal. I am this guy's normal. a really depressing life. Oh my god. Fine. Oh, it's okay, Stanley. I am okay. I I feel for you, man. Oh. Stanley began screaming. Please, someone wake me up. What my the name fuck? Is Stanley. I have a boss, I have an office, I am real. Please, just someone oh my tell God. me I'm real. I must be real, I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. Oh. So this is the understanding. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Oh. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. Uh, uh -huh. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted <laughs> by a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy, this much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people well, he also, look like. Well, people also know what dead moment, people look like. She thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. Which she should probably get to. ...people whose impressions of her would affect her career. And by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for yeah. this. So it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. 
this, that's the that's the that's the obvious thing you should do. Turn and run. You see a dead person, you turn and fucking run. You don't even pay attention. You know what? My life is more important. He his his life is done. My life is important. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'm probably gonna end it for now. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll definitely be back to uh, see the other endings of the the game and stuff that I probably obviously missed because there's a lot and there's a lot of I have a couple of ways that I could see that I could kind of uh, actually get to. There's a lot of places I can get to that I, I saw and obviously other outcomes aside from the three I think I showed you. So, in that, in correlation to that, I will be back. And I will continue October month. I know I haven't actually uploaded. I only uploaded two videos of that. But uh, I'm going to do that soon. So, uh, thank you very much for watching. Leave a like for the Stanley Parable. Hey, finally came out. So, I'm actually, I'm, I'm pretty happy to have it. I'm pretty pretty excited to actually see the rest of the uh, the endings. Because this is pretty fucking good. So, with that, uh, leave a like. Do that thing that you do. Follow me on Twitter. Leave a <laughs> Follow him on Instagram, or Instagram, except I don't have Instagram, so don't follow me on there. So, with that said, I hope you guys have a great day, and uh, stay awesome, I suppose. I guess. I don't know, stay awesome. Because you are. You deserve it, okay? There's a lot of things I can't <laughs> I'm going to leave now. Bye.